Welcome to Smooth Country, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, very. I should say welcome back because we spoke last October and you were telling me at the time about all sorts of different plans and, you know, exciting news about music. And, and here we are. Um, and we've got some exciting news about your new album, Famous Friends. So um, today's the day. How are you feeling about it? I mean, I feel great. Honestly, I've, uh, I've been teasing everybody with new music for so long. I'm just glad it's finally out there so people can have it. Uh, but really, really pumped for this project. And, you know, obviously with the success of Famous Friends as a single and everything else that's been going on, um, yeah, couldn't be happier. I was going to say, I mean, obviously, congratulations on the success of, of the, the title track, because that must be a really good feeling for you, because I guess as an artist, no matter how successful you've been in the past, when you've got a brand new project, you just never know, do you, how it's going to be received. And al already you've got a, a thumbs up, if you like. Um, so that, have you got a warm, a warm glow about that? Oh, for sure. I mean... I like you just said, you, you never know, uh, you know, every album is kind of a snapshot of where you are in time as an artist, as a writer, as a producer. And, um, you know, to be able to know going into this that there's already songs on the record that people like, uh, you know, you, you can't beat that. Now, there's obviously a clue in the title, um, you know, Famous Friends. So... They are genuinely friends. I mean, you you've, you had a great rapport in the video as well, the award-winning video for Famous Friends with Kane. Um, but but so, uh, who else is on the album? I believe Lauren Elena, Mitchell Tenpenny. Are these, are these guys that you would bump into under normal circumstances? Yeah, these are, these are friends. Uh, these are people that I've hung out with on a regular basis, uh, even outside of music, just being able to, to kind of catch up, hang out, have a good time, and... Um, yeah, it's been a really, and I feel like sometimes we overuse this word, but an organic process making this album. It feels really honest, and uh, it was really an, an easy thing to come together, although it took a long time for me to make it from start to finish. Uh, it, it feels fantastic having it out there and, you know, having friends to celebrate alongside. You almost answered what, what I had in mind to ask you next was, it, can it be more difficult in a way sometimes if you're working with someone you're overly familiar with rather than a new um, talent that just comes into the studio for the project? Do you know what I mean? So you, you've had no um, relationship with before, but clearly you, you just said it, it, it worked quite well with the people that you know. Uh, it, it worked out pretty good. I, I can't complain. And uh... You know, I just feel honestly really lucky that they all wanted to be a part of the project. And, you know, not just the, the artists that are present there, but all the musicians, all the songwriters, everybody that's behind the scenes working on this thing. Um, it's just been fantastic from beginning to end. And uh, it's a project that I'm really, really proud of. Well, it sounds great because I've had a little listen to it already, I have to say, a couple of, you know, a week or so ago. I particularly like Love Looks Good On You. That just jumped out on me. Um, there you go. I know you didn't ask me, but that's, that's just I, what I thought. I appreciate it. I'll take it. I'm not mad about that. Yeah. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I like the whole album, but that one particularly jumped out on me. Um, when, you, when you have, I know, it's a chicken and egg here. Do you have a friend that you say, we're going to work on a song together? Or do you create a song and go, oh, Lauren Elena will be good with this? Do you see what I mean? So, or is it a bit of both? Most of the time with me, it is uh the latter where it's i write a song and i'm like you know who'd be really great on this is this person that i know um in the case of at the end of a bar which is on this record with mitchell tenpenny we wrote it together so right. it was it was the former but uh it, it just all depends I, i've been really um lucky in my track record of asking people and not being told no uh <laughs> so so that's the one thing that makes it a little bit easier to, to rope in friends and be like, here, I need you. I need you on this. Well, that's a good sign that not being told no so far. Um, do you have a wish list in your brain? Do you, I mean, because you clearly love collaborating and it works really well, but I, you probably don't even want to tell me now, even if you did, but do you have like a, a list somewhere that can, next time I want to work with him or her or them? No, not specifically. And, and mainly because I just kind of let the song dictate that. You know, I, I really don't want to 
try to force something that's not going to be the right thing, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I kind of, you know, I knew when I did um, Famous Friends, I was like the first person I wanted to reach out to was Kane and just shoot it to him and see what he thought. Um, when we wrote Town Ain't Big Enough that day, I was like, you know who would sing the absolute hell out of this is Lauren Elena. And so that was who I asked to be on that song. Um, so I kind of do let the, the song dictate that. Can I ask you as well? I mean, I, I gave you one of my favorite songs from the album. Do you have a particular favorite or are you almost too close to it? Because you, you produced some of the music on it and you've co-produced it all with others too, uh, the ones you haven't done solely. So uh, do you have a favorite or, or is it just all yours and, uh, you know, you can't pick? I, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to pick a favorite. Um, you know, obviously I've already mentioned Famous Friends and At the End of a Bar. If I was going to pick another one, uh, you know, the, the closing track of the record, Tonight We're Dancing, I really love just because of what that song says and um, just kind of encapsulating that moment of nobody else is watching, nobody knows what's going on. It's just you and somebody else in love. And uh, I, I think it's a, a really cool way to say it. Well, last time we spoke, and I don't want to run ahead too far from Famous Friends, but um, you said you were working on a number of projects and you, you had like lots of ideas. So I'd just like to know, is this one of a number of albums coming out? And I'm sure your fans would like to know too. I will say this. Um, <laughs> no, there's not a number of albums that are going to be released, but I have already got a bunch of stuff mixed and mastered outside of what they are hearing on these 14 tracks. So um, maybe on down the road, we turn it into a double album. I don't know. Uh, my, my thing right now is being able to get this out after, you know, how long it's been and uh, people have been yelling at me about not having a new album out. So this is, uh, this, this thing stands on its own and, and I'm really, really proud of it. So, I'm always constantly writing more, recording more, looking forward. But um, for now, I do just want to live in the moment of finally having famous friends out there and being this excited about it. No, absolutely. Um, but I don't get to speak to you every day, clearly. So I, I, have, I have to find out some more from you as well. You know, and I think the album will really, you know, will work well for you. There's, there's been a huge demand for your music as you drop the songs out for people. Whereas before we had to wait you know, two or three years between albums and there was nothing from the artist. And now we get a little drip feed, which, which keeps the fans happy too. So that's good. Um, can I ask you just generally, because these have been such weird times and we touched upon it last time we spoke, but how have you been doing? I mean, aside from being incredibly busy with the album, but in these weird times, you know, have you been able to, you know, get on with your life in other aspects or with the lockdowns affected you too much or how, how would you say? I, well, I mean, you know, not touring for uh, well over a year is, is not a whole lot of fun. Obviously, here in the States, things have started to open back up. Uh, I've been able to play some shows, which has been incredible. And I mean, you can tell, you know, everybody on stage missed it just as much as everybody that's in the audience. Um, hopefully things keep going in the right direction. Um, you know, that's a fingers crossed moment if there ever was one. But uh yeah, it's definitely a really interesting time to be alive and and to uh, have gone through, you know, the craziness that was the past, not just year, but but more so. And and knowing that it's there's still a lot of uncertainty out there and a lot of people are, you know, making sure they're doing the right thing and again fingers crossed hopefully everything keeps going the direction it needs to go so that uh i can get over and see you guys again sir <laughs> um mm -hmm. you know I, I i don't know that that's there's just so much uncertainty and so the thing that i really take away from that and part of why i'm so happy to have this new album out is you know i don't think it was that anybody was taking anything for granted but you're definitely never going to do it now and yeah. uh I'm just really, really happy that this album is done and it's there for people to enjoy. And uh, at the very least, you know, the, the one silver lining for me was that I had all the time to just sit in the studio and, and hole up and really work on this project. 
I guess that was the, the, yeah, you're right, the silver lining thing. I mean, it might have been terrible not being able to go back on the road again as soon as you wanted to, but at least as a creative person, you had all this time to, to work on new material and work on collaborations. And I think I've never known a time where so many um, new albums and, and, and new projects have come along in one go. It's because all the creative types like you, you you've been busy at home or in your home studios. And so, and now all, all this, and some brilliant work has come about, including your album. So, you know, there's, there's obviously a good thing has come out of all of this. Yeah. And, and obviously, you know, we're, we're talking about something that's, that's really serious, right. And, and obviously bigger than, you know, being able to go out and, and play shows and, and make music. So the fact that I really do look at that as a silver lining from all that is that's the one positive that I can take away is that that time, you know, I was able to spend in the studio as have a lot of, uh, of other people. No, absolutely. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's, that's the thing that keeps us going as music fans too. Now you did mention that you just mentioned that maybe sometime you might be able to come over to the UK. We're looking very much towards the States at the moment because you guys are ahead of us from the point of view of opening back up again. And on my radio show, I'm always talking about, oh, you know, so-and-so is doing a tour or they've just launched some dates and we've got nothing going on like that right now. So, Every UK country music fan is hoping that when you guys have, have gone coast to coast and upside down and all around the States, you're going to start thinking, right, we need to go off to a new market. And I'm hoping the UK will be part of that. Oh, it's, oh, it's not even that. I mean, at least for me, as someone who's been able to be lucky enough to go over and tour multiple times already in the UK, the minute I'm allowed, I will be there to see you guys. So that's, that's not even a question for me. Well, that is, that is exactly what I was hoping you were going to say. So that's, that's great. And I know our fans too will be very pleased because we're, we're starved of all of this right now. So that will be great. Well, I want to wish you incredible success with Famous Friends, the album. I, I think you're going to get that anyway. But, you know, like you said, fingers crossed and all that. And you know the way you were saying as well, you were working on a lot of newer music and you had other stuff on the side. You could always, I mean, there seems to be a trend right now where people are bringing out deluxe or special editions of the album, you know, six months down. And so possibly, you never know. You never know. I just, uh, it, like I said, I am still trying to like live in the moment of I've had this stuff for so long and this is now the first time people are getting to hear a lot of it. So uh, definitely excited, definitely, you know, looking forward to whatever's in the future, but um, again, going back to that thing we were just talking about, never going to take anything for granted. Isn't that the truth? Well, listen, on that positive note, um, I want to wish you the best of luck, Chris, um, Chris and thank you so much for, uh, for spending some time with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.